name is Roger Soares with Archbase Corp here in Japan. And today we're at Shofuin, which is a Japanese um, vacation cottage that's been restored. And um, today I'm going to be introducing you to Japanese Sosekiso, Kiso, which is a traditional stone foundation which Japanese architects and builders used a long time ago to help Japanese traditional buildings survive things like typhoons and earthquakes. So today I'm going to be showing you some examples in this building behind me here. And then later on we're going to be headed to the studio. We're going to meet Hiro and we're going to discuss some of the technical details of this um, Japanese traditional stone foundation. So come with me and let's go check it out. Okay, so here we're looking at the foundation of this Shofuin building. You can see how this post here, this corner post, has been scribed so that it's a perfect example of how traditional Japanese architects would scribe these posts to meet the profile of the stone and that would allow um, these posts to not slip off the actual stone foundation but if there was an earthquake or typhoon it would allow them to rock a little bit and give. So the goal for Japanese traditional architects and builders was to create these buildings that would flex kind of like rubber and you can imagine that each one of these posts is independent so it's almost like the suspension on a car where they move independently like that and giving that the building kind of a rubber-like property okay so this is an example here at Shofuin of Japanese Soseki Kiso traditional stone foundation so I hope you could get an actual idea of what it looks like in, um, in this actual site but um, we're gonna head back now to the studio we're gonna meet Hiro and we're going to explain some of the technical details about how these traditional stone foundations work. So let's head back to the studio and we'll meet you there. Okay, so we are back here at the studio and uh, just before we were out looking at uh, examples of Soseki Kiso, which is a Japanese traditional stone foundation. And uh, we've come back to the studio and we're going to explain some of the technical aspects and compare that to slab on grade foundations and just show you what kind of traditional Japanese architects kind of are doing um, and explain the reasons why they were doing those things. So Hiro, can you explain slab on grade to us? Yeah. この部分がもうコンクリートになって、その中にWで鉄筋が入っています。それとアンカーボルトが各上がっていて、その基礎のベースとなる下に採石がこう転がって転圧した上にこれを造形していきます。ここが一応GLラインになります。これがもう一般的
加工していきますでその上に塚を立てて Okay, so here is showing this is quite different than what we see here with this bottom plate. This bottom plate has been anchored to the slab by an anchor bolt. Whereas what he's showing here is actually what they've done is traditional Japanese carpenters they would cut using a chisel and、um, planer, they would cut the actual bottom of these posts so that they would, they would actually match the top part of the stone. And that would allow the, the boards to actually the post to grip the stone without sliding off, but they weren't actually directly attached. It's not good to know this. Bolt to the tete, kiss of stand, tada no cut it like this. The cono hashira o yokozre o segutami ni coni mokzai o detikimas. こうすることにこれがずれないようにするのと遊びを持たせてここにくさびっていうのを打ち込んでいきます。Okay, so they added to, to make sure that these、um, posts would stay in place, they added this horizontal board here, and to lock it in place and to be able to adjust it and tighten it, they'd add these wedges called kusabi. So, They would add these wedges here and that would hold that in place and that could be adjusted. And then, where is the bottom plate? So, こ o に土台を乗せていくような感じになります。Okay, so the actual bottom plate was built above that level. And so, this is what the Japanese call again dodai. So, the actual structure of the house is going to start from here. Hiro. こういうシステムは何で使,使いましたかずっと日本は、えー、と地震台風とか四季とかあっていろんなもう過酷な環境に立つようなあの建物だったので自然に地震が来た時にボルトで結束してないから動くムービングとこれで倒壊するのを防ぐすっかりでだからちょっとあのゴムみたいな動きをします Oh, mm. that's, that's really interesting. So, what he's explaining is the reason why traditional、um, carpenters and architects use this, this system was when they first started building、um, wood buildings, they were trying to figure out how could they make them so that they would be, they would be able to resist typhoons and earthquakes. And so, when they use this system,、um, because the actual posts are sitting and locked onto the stone, They wouldn't slip off, but because they're actually not anchored with an anchor bolt, it gave them enough flexibility so it acted almost like rubber. And so the, the actual structure itself wouldn't break, it would actually bend and flex.、Um, and what we've done is we've actually made a small model here of what this might look like in the ground. Let me show you on this side. So you can kind of see here you have these large stones that would be actually buried in the ground. And then you have these smaller stones here. And then you have the large Soseki Kiso here. You have this large stone here, which will be buried in the ground.、So、all of these here are going to be to hold this large stone in place. And also, this is going to、um, allow for any water that's in this area to be able to drain away from the foundation. So, this is going to be what you would see basically below a slab on slab and grade foundation. And then here you can see I've used a chisel. Actually, I didn't do a very great job.、Um, this is just a kind of model. But you would actually cut and carve this so that it's the shape of this stone. And so that it's not going to slip off, it's actually going to grip. And if I can get a kind of good picture there, that's kind of what it would look like there. So it would be actually gripping there. And you'd have each of those,、um, each of the posts would be on their own individual stone. So, like that, so they wouldn't slide. But if there was an earthquake, they could move a little bit、um, without, and then that would allow the structure actually to not break. So, this board he's mentioning here is actually this one here. So, this is、um, the board that is holding these, all these posts and keeping them straight. And then, as he mentioned, there's these small wedges. 
these small wedges which called kusabi which they can put in there and that's going to hold it tight so they can adjust it hold it tight like that もう一つちょっと面白いのがあって、簡単に言うと車みたいな感じ。ここがタイヤ。ああ。で、ここがサスペンション。だから自身の時こう動く。ああ。だから崩れない。車も自信が来ても壊れないでしょ。だから家も